enough i have seen the logic in and allowed uh, company like satyam to do something i uh, no longer i am uh, rely on the logic let me see that i am locking or closing all the four walls it's up to you whether to live or die that was the attitude here i am debating more on committed by any person apart from that or any other person that the reason i told you government idea is completely to ensure that if we are locked in a room whether you live or die it doesn't matter but you should not go out i don't know how to protect except this locking this as it is everybody under the sky will be covered under any person any person itself is a exhaustive one not restricted to any particular kind of category really i feel government alone can come and uh, tell us or give a circle who and all coming any other person also see that means probably i may uh, uh, by the uh, uh, following the uh, doctrine of adjustment generis where we have to understand and give the meaning of the word uh, where it flows suppose if i give that interpretation in fact for the benefit of the government how in a court for the benefit of the this thing they will uh, release the person then a person just yeah. one minute to yeah. sorry to interrupt one uh, participants uh, vs varun his mother has been uh, constantly trying to reach him but the number is switched off maybe some uh, urgency or emergency i got a call to sri danya's office vs varun starting itself is uh, generally result will come little late we are getting yeah, cafe i don't know no the vibration also may reach uh, let me uh, come back to the flow here the suppose i apply the doctrine adjustment generis probably the government may uh, think or would have understood probably should have put in a different way but uh, they have not tried to do that any act omission concealment of any fact or abuse of position committed by any person or any other person may be the person who is supporting him that includes right from the director to the pun this is a series of the uh, whole definition we are going to see the implication later this is only a definition what i am telling now that's why i told you you can't sleep if you are sleeping we are putting our life into risk no guarantee at all the any other person even the pun of the company or office assistant of the company also can be brought under the definition that were languaging of any other person government will say that that the reason we put any other person also we have not put some person who has committed the act or who has committed the omission this fellow also was there that time he could have stopped he could have told or he could have informed the government now everything government want to inform now how they want to the auditor to inform like that everything government want to inform after they got information then they will take action so it is our duty to make sure action is taken by the government after we inform so probably this is my interpretation i don't know something else also may be there i just gave my view on this any other person may be the person who is involving into the conspiracy the the terminology criminal conspiracy there in the criminal procedure code even civil also there is a terminology where more than uh, two person they join together and do some evil to others wrong to others probably with that understanding you would have uh, uh, they would have drafted with a convenience in any manner comma with the intent to deceive comma you please you can count also we can organize this competition also if somebody says how many commas immediately we can give uh, gift also to them uh, you can start from body corporate one comma act comma omission concealment of fact or abuse of position committed by any person good single sentence because they don't want to give a chance the reason being they want to see that committed by any person any other person should be one and the same otherwise we will take a different definition after the comma no no it's a comma has come no i am not included 
I should come within the comma. That's the reason they put after that. After that, uh, everything is applicable to both any person, any other person only after that. So that's why they use so many comma. See, I want to um, uh, make you to appreciate the government, uh, the purpose of putting comma also. It's not that simply they put in a grammar how we put comma. Everything carries its meaning and everything carries its value. Manner comma with intent to deceive comma to gain undue uh, advantage from a again comma or to injure interest of comma the company or shareholder creditor again any other person here also comma whether or not there is a wrongful gain and wrongful loss there is wrongful gain wrongful loss taken from the Indian Penal Code that is given in a different context they simply taken a Indian Contract Act fraudulent activity definitions fraudulent contract definitions and they were taken uh, fraudulent acts in Indian Penal Code and they themselves, uh, what and all they are keeping in a checklist to avoid uh, certain kind of issues that checklist they were added so they customized the definition especially for the corporate and professionals more specifically chartered accountants and in fact we had a competition also, I told my partners also, we had a debate, long debate when we are drafting for book and all. I said, uh, uh, I challenged the partners also, you please come and say why this comma is put, where I, to, I should stop and where I should join or where I should take out and read then only, see when the purpose of putting comma is that you have to uh, take out and understand that alone separately, that is the reason comma is put generally, should be put in a legal language. But we could not able to make it. Almost we would have discussed uh, uh, rather more than five hours in a matter of week also. We could not able to comprehend why the so many commas has come and how it should be understood. Because either way it can be understood. Probably for that reason only they would have put. And wrongful gain, wrongful loss, all that, uh, that makes no uh, uh, great difference as long as it includes ev everything under the sky. At, and it includes all human being under the sky, even any other planet also. Because any person, any other person, so anybody can be included. So there is no point we understand the willful, wrongful gain, wrongful loss, nothing. We will move on, what is the implication of this? The implication of this, the first time in the company that after the Indian Penal Code, such a long imprisonment given to white color. See, the Indian Penal Court, Criminal Procedure Court, all this uh, uh, brought uh, to curb the offense for the criminals. The whole idea is to avoid the criminal activities. There the maximum imprisonment is life, uh, death, life, then 10 years. The 10 years because they don't want to give life imprisonment. They are uh, they, uh, um, uh, they humanly they thought about the company and the professionals they don't deserve life imprisonment and all for this reason so they have taken the 10 years imprisonment so the first time the whole corporate in India going to uh, see that a professional a director maybe employee of his assistant to suffer 10 years imprisonment. For, for what? For not seeing something. The fellow who has done, he has done and taken away money. Okay. Uh, and the uh, proceeding will go on and uh, we will keep. Uh, but person who signed, you should have seen it. You suffer. So, uh, it, this is applicable not only to the directors. Not We can't categorize. That is the reason I told the importance of the any person, any other person, all that. Enough we discuss on that. The consequence is minimum of six months, maximum of ten years. Is there any exception is given? No exception is given. I will take you through what are the, what is the implication, real implication of this. Fine, okay. Uh, now uh, they have decided that uh, whoever uh, does the uh, offence, whether it's a white color, black color, or blue color, we have no difference in the companies act. Company that uh, sees whether you have a collar. 
whether you are white, blue, black, they don't want to see the difference. That's the reason they brought the whole criminal position to the company that itself. Fine. But what is the implication of that? Only more important than understanding. Of course, we, we can feel so proud. Okay, we can always say that. See, 10 years back I have done. 15 years back when I was in service I have done. Why you are coming? Uh, we can always pray the God and see that till my service nothing should happen. <laughs> After that anyway I can say that at uh, that time I don't know what. I am not uh, remembering anything. I can always say that. No. A provision is brought into the act for that also. So now because of the introduction of a 10 year imprisonment. See, as of now, in the present Companies Act, now for understanding sake, I will refer old Act is 1956 and new Act 2013. Let us not say every time here 1956, 2013, everybody knows. Old Act and new Act. See, the old Act, if you see the maximum punishment prescribed is 7 years where under section 628 and two years next uh, in fact only one section seven years only one section and uh, other section two years only that two years only now increased to ten years okay we can see what is the big implication on bringing into ten years okay anyway fine uh, they would have thought something they brought the problem is not that uh, they brought okay we will see ensure that we are completely disciplined, we will try our level best, we have to try and we should ensure that everything we are following and complying. But you should also ensure after your retirement also, you are not pulled back and made you to sit in seat, though you are okay, but what to do provision alone. The purpose, the, what I am trying to say, the provision under Criminal Procedure Code, Section 468, it talks about bar to taking cognizance after lapse of period of limitation. What is the importance of that? The importance is, it is giving a table where a punishment is, a fine alone is prescribed in any of the provisions of the act. Six months, then the cognizance can be taken within six months. Okay. Suppose, imprisonment is prescribed of exceeding one year, then the imprisonment uh, that uh, period of limitation is one year. Suppose imprisonment is prescribed not exceeding three years, maximum is three years under the old act, then the maximum time length that the department can take action, the judiciary can take action against the corporate and professionals up to three years. Now because of the increase in the imprisonment period, the three years to ten years, Completely we are losing the benefit of section 468. Why? Because this is applicable only to the offence which is punishable up to three years. In fact, the definition of offence is itself some uh, the act where the which prescribe which have some penalty in that act. That's only offence. The definition of offence under IPC is the act that is prescribed with the penalty. Or punishment, that's an offence. 